There are many benefits to taking cold showers, with them having a myriad of benefits for both your physical and mental health. However, while they serve to have great benefits, cold showers do have some risks associated to them and so it's best to be fully aware of these and precautions to take when starting out with cold showers. Therefore, in this video, we look at the precautions to take when taking cold showers. Number 1. Understand your body Like exercise, cold showers take a toll on the body and overdoing it may not be what's best for you, so it's key to do what's best for you as an individual. If you do overdo it, you can risk leaving yourself feeling exhausted and lethargic, rather than feeling energised and ready to take the day on. Therefore, it's important to do what works for you and your body, finding out what's your ideal temperature and how long you need to stay in the shower. This might take a little time and a few variations to find what balance works for you, helping you feel at your best and reap the benefits. Number 2. Adjust how long you spend Much like the previous point, you want to understand your body's natural responses to how long you need to spend in the shower. Despite the many benefits of taking a cold shower, spending too long in one can work against you as it takes a lot of energy to have a cold shower. This can actually leave you feeling more tired and therefore less energetic, which with the day still ahead of you can make you feel less motivated. Therefore, spend as long as you feel comfortable, but usually you don't need to spend more than about between 5 to 10 minutes in a cold shower. Number 3. Reduce intensity with age or illness If you are unwell or a little older, try to reduce the intensity of cold showers, meaning easing yourself into it and maybe not going really cold. This is because you need to care for your health and well-being first and foremost, where you don't want to exacerbate potential problems. In addition to this, the shock factor of a cold can increase the risk of heart attack if not managed properly, as your body initially goes through into shock in the cold sensations. One way of controlling your exposure to the cold is to start off by lightly splashing cold water onto your body as it helps to adjust to the temperature. Number 4. Don't start with ice cold water Similar to the previous point, you shouldn't make your cold shower too intense until you develop your coping mechanisms and adjust to it. As mentioned, cold showers send us into shock and can cause potential heart attack if not controlled, so rather than instantly go to extreme cold, try instead to adapt progressively, even starting out with relatively warm water and gradually reducing it to be cooler with time. In part, this is because water can feel colder than its actual temperature, meaning even if we think it's not that cold, our body might still feel it's extremely cold to touch. Number 5. Avoid heavy meals beforehand Simply put, when you eat a heavy meal, the body needs to use blood to help the digestion process, meaning it uses a lot of energy for this. Likewise, when you enter cold environments, again, you need to increase blood flow throughout the body to ensure it's able to function and have the necessary effects. Therefore, this causes a problem if you have a heavy meal before a cold shower, as due to the need for blood for the digestive system, it can take away from blood flow from the other parts of the body. Therefore, feel free to take cold showers and gain all of the benefits you get from them, just do so caring for your safety and well-being. Were you aware with the precautions to take with cold showers? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.